Like, look at this close up. Like, it looks so good, right? My name is Sahara Johnson. I'm 24 years old. I'm originally from Santa Cruz, California, but I'm living in New York. I do experience hormonal and stress-related acne issues. Around the time of my period, I get really bad chin breakouts, which is really frustrating and annoying. I have a little, a few acne scars that I'd like to get rid of. My skin type is pretty normal, but a little combination. Sometimes I'm a little oily at night, and whenever I have, you know, high stress levels, I just feel pretty, you know, low energy. My skin reflects that. I use just like a water-based cleanser and then I follow with a toner and then just a super simple moisturizer. It's a little oily so I'm not super happy with it. I love how there's so many different products and they seem very ahead of the curve with the in types of ingredients that they're using so it just always seems really interesting. Hi everyone this is Peggy and I'm here with Sahara today with her new K-Beauty skincare routine. 10 steps. Are you ready for it? I am, yes. This toner is a holy grail for a lot of people. It's hydrating, it's like a, a really great treatment with like licorice water. This will help with bringing luminosity to your skin. Snail mucin, like I said earlier, helps with repairing your skin also. So it's like very like slimy oh, if you yeah. want to touch it. Well, yeah. I would start with how <laughs> so it's like it's very <laughs> yeah. like it's very sticky. <laughs> great, so I'm super excited to see the results for all these things. And yeah, thank you so much, Peggy. Yeah. Hi, it's day one of my skincare journey. I'm a little hungover this morning, so I'm looking forward to my new products helping me out. I'm gonna start with the uh, Clean It Zero. Next up is the Real Fresh Foam Green Tea Cleanser. Now I'm going to use the Snail Cream. Ooh. I love this one, it smells really good. Okay, so I also figured I would show you guys how great it works just with makeup on. A little goes a long way, which is awesome. So all the makeup is pretty much off of my eyes, which is great. Usually it takes about five or six rounds for all of the makeup to be completely off my eyes. I just got my period. And usually I get a lot of breakouts along my chin when it's this time of the month. I haven't seen any yet, and I don't feel any coming in, which makes me super happy. I have moved on to the five-step routine rather than the three-step, and I've already done the first two parts. I've been using this toner lately, and it's been great to me. After the toner comes my new favorite part of the routine, the snail essence. So I feel like my skin is glowing much more with the five regimen than it was with the three regimen, which is awesome. I've been super stressed out with meetings, with work, and it's like the dregs of winter right now, so my skin usually feels really dull and kind of, you know, just not great looking. So coming home to a super stressful day to seeing my skin still looking great was a really amazing feeling. Like, look at this close up. Like, it looks so good, right? The next step will be applying the vitamin C serum into the Misha Snail Cream. And then comes the ginseng eye cream. I have bags under my eyes usually all the time, so I've been pretty stoked about this product. And then the last step is to use the Misha Sun Milk. I had never really used sunscreen in my daily life before. Protecting your face against sun rays is really important to prevent skin cancer and things like that, so you know, want to make some good choices while I can. It doesn't leave a you know shiny residue or anything like that, which is great, and it actually smells good, and it's 50 SPF. I wanted to take a couple seconds to talk about the Neogen exfoliating pads. These things are really cool, and for a long time I've been kind of afraid exfoliating my face because of bad experiences I've had with like a certain apricot exfoliating gel-ish 
thing. Yeah, they're, they're really awesome and super fresh feeling and I've been enjoying using them for the past week. It's sticking to my face way better than any of the other ones that I've ever used in the past, which is awesome. And I love how it's like two parts instead of like one that I'm like smushing on my face. I feel like this sheet mask is something that Bjork would totally wear, so extra kudos. My experience throughout this whole process was super enjoyable. It definitely took getting used to doing the 10 step versus the three step, but overall I really liked it and kind of got into like the ritual aspect of it, so it was fun. I have noticed changes in my skin. It's been a lot more moist and dewy, so that's really awesome and a lot less just blemishes in general, which I'm super happy about. My favorite, I'd say, was probably the snail essence, as well as the sheet mask that I was given. It had a nice quality and consistency to it. Surprised me the most, I'd say, how easy it was to get into the groove of using everything. Like, the first time I did the 10 step, I had to read the instructions, but probably by the third day of doing it, I kind of, got the hang of it. I do feel more confident. Right before I had started the skincare thing, my skin had been really bothering me lately and I was just getting a lot more stress pimples and things like that, but I haven't really seen much so far and I'm still the level of stress I was before, so it's good. I'll probably keep doing the 10 step for as long as I have everything. And then after that, I'll, you know, pick my favorites and maybe go back to doing the five just in terms of time, but I'll probably do the 10 for as long as I can. Hashtag thriving, yeah. <laughs>